Hi, my name is Jad, and together we'll go through the few basic steps of using Grasp. Grasp is designed as a platform to add resources, organize activities, and share information. Now, the first thing you want to do is create a space. Space is that place where you can add those resources, collaborate with other people, and share information. Once you're logged in, you can create a space by simply clicking on the creation button in the top left corner of your pad. Let's say your company wants you to establish a new marketing strategy for car insurance. We just type the title in the box, choose whether the space should be open to anybody, only to a closed group, or even completely hidden and only accessible on invitation. You're free to enter a more detailed description. And once you've confirmed, you'll see that your space now appears in the form of an orange rectangle on your pad. You open it by simply clicking on it. You'll also observe that all your spaces will appear in the navigation bar on the left. The concept of space is the core feature in Grasp. Now, a space is that place where you can store all the virtual things in our lives, like ideas, concepts, advice, images and videos, so that other people can get a grasp on them too. And they can even look them up at a later time in the future. With that in mind, the next thing you probably want to do is populate your space. To add a resource to your space, click the creation button and choose to create a new resource. That can be a document, a picture, a video, etc. In our case, we want to include the summary of the last project meet. We then choose the file from the desktop. You can also directly drag and drop files from your computer to the pad. For instance, we can add this image that could inspire an advertisement by simply dragging and dropping it to our space. Besides resources, we can also add widgets to our space. Widgets are small web applications that you encounter everywhere on the web. To use a widget, again click the creation button and choose to add an application, like this useful to-do list that we found at the following address. Alternatively, Grasp lets you choose widgets from a list by clicking on Find. After clicking on the widget, we can begin adding tasks. The advantage of Grasp is that you can share information with a selected circle of people. In addition to that, as projects get more and more interdisciplinary with lots of different people working on the same project, it is very important that you can share information with people who don't necessarily have access to your companies or even your units network. That has never been easier than with Grasp. To invite a person to your space, again click on the creation button. Choose to add a person and start typing her email address. As soon as you confirm, an invitation is sent by email, and upon acceptance, the person will be visible on your pad. That's where you can also change the permission of a member from simple viewer to contributor with the right of adding her own items, or even to owner with the right of removing stuff from the space. By now, we've assembled quite some material in our space, and its number is likely to grow very fast with other members adding items of their own. In Grasp, therefore, every member has the possibility of organizing the space in their individual way. In our case, for example, we want the documents that the colleagues from the financial department have added to be at the end of the list. So I simply choose Change Order and drag and drop them to the end. Another solution is to create a subspace for finances and drop the files in there. Other useful tools in this respect are the three menus on top. You can simply drag and drop items that you use a lot to the favorites menu. In our case, we keep shortcuts to different spaces of the project there. The search menu allows us to search for different items, like a colleague that we want to invite to the project. Once we find her, we simply drag and drop her into our space. Finally, the clipboard lets us move things from one space to another, or link them together. We might, for example, want to create a link to an inspiring illustration that we found in some space about marketing strategies. So we simply drag the item to the clipboard and select Create Link. 
We then come back to our space and drag it there from the clipboard. To do just that, but with any kind of item we find on the internet, we can use the wonderful Grasp It tool. The Grasp It tool is like a camera. In real life, when you go someplace, if you like it, take a picture. However, when surfing the web, if you go someplace that catches your interest, you don't take a picture, you simply grasp it. To start using the Grasp It tool, drag the Grasp It icon to your bookmarks toolbar. Whenever you find something interesting while surfing the web, just click Grasp It on the bookmark bar and the item is grasped into your clipboard. For example, this article from Forbes on important marketing issues. Or this video on crowdsourcing. Now if we go back to Grasp and refresh the clipboard, we can insert those items into our space. They will then be available to everybody else. Notice that in the case of the article, Grasp will show you a screenshot of the page at the time of creation. So it also serves as a sort of archive, which is handy, especially for blogs or news pages that change constantly. So these were the first few steps into this stunning new experience of capturing, exchanging and storing the virtual. We hope you've grasped most of it. If not, you can always refer to the help center in the bottom right corner of Grasp or contact me directly on Grasp under the username Grasper. Thank you for listening and see you on Grasp.